All right, so we're going to get ready to play some deck checkmate. Uh, we're going to start by each taking uh, four cards, two from each pile. This is the uh, pile for peace cards, and this is the pile for action or strategy cards. Okay. So I'll show the camera what I have. So I have some pieces, I have some action cards, which might not do that much right now, and you can go first if you'd like. You can play uh, up to three cards. Still deciding on... Yeah, sorry. Play? It's okay. Um, I think that's, I'll just play those two. Okay, I'm going to play uh, these two cards, and at the end of your turn, you replenish your hand, so you can take another two peace cards. I'm going to do the same. These are the peace cards? Yep. Yeah. Do the same, and the object of the game is to try and finish the game either when the deck is empty or when somebody is playing a checkmate or stalemate card with a certain number, usually a higher number of points than your opponent. So right now I have six points. My lovely wife here has four, but that could change depending on the pieces that are put down and the other types of action cards that are played. So, your turn. Okay. Ooh, a queen. All right, so, I think that's, uh, you can see here on the piece cards, we have both the action that this plays in the game and a little bit about what this move is in chess. So, you could actually play that card after I put down a pawn, which would actually cause it to get removed. I, would, um, I wouldn't need to wait for my turn. No, you wouldn't. I mean, you put it down anyway, so. Um, I'll, Does this cancel it out then? Yep, then those get discarded. Uh, so that's one of my cards that got discarded that way. I'm going to play a pawn, and I'm going to play here Pawn Chain. If I get to put down additional pawns, they'll be worth more than just the base points of one. Okay. I'm going to take two peace cards and a action card. Okay. Here you go. You can replenish your hand. I need to replenish. Okay. So I'm going to play some more pawns. Oh, man. I'm glad you didn't get the pawn chain card. I know. <laughs> Really be um, and I'm going to throw down the Zuzwan. Oh man. Which says, make your opponent reveal their hand and take one of their cards. Oh yeah, this one can be a really important tactic. So here's my hand as it stands right now. I have a king. I'm going to be exchange. I take your king. Oh man. Nice. King can be an important piece. With the king, it can help block a check or uh, cancel out a check card. Okay. Um, okay. So. I am going to, hmm, I don't really have a lot I can do. I'm going to play down a bishop, and I'm going to overprotect one of my pieces. I'll overprotect, uh, hmm, I'll overprotect the bishop. That doesn't do anything yet, but if I can cancel that attack that you play later. Okay, I'm going to replenish my hand here. I'm going to play the x-ray because I have more pieces than my opponent, so I'm just going to put this on my queen. Nice. Because she has um, nine points, and this is a plus three to it. I'm also going to put down... Can I put down the king? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put down the king and the rook. Wow. And then I'm going to replenish. Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to put down a bishop. I'm also going to play the exchange, which means I'd have to discard my bishop, but then my wife has to discard her rook. So I basically have traded a bishop for a rook. Um, and I'm also going to play checkmate, which if she did not have a king would actually end the game, although you would win because you have a higher number of points. But the checkmate means you have to give me your king. Mm, okay. So that's a, one of the good things about having a king is that it helps 
prevent a check or a checkmate from doing something uh, nasty. Well, can I play check? Because then it says you have to surrender your king card. There you go. <laughs> well, surrender, yeah. does that mean goes to me or does it go to the like, discard card? Um, that's actually a good question. I guess I didn't specify, but uh, I meant it that you'd be captured, basically. Um, okay. Uh, do you have any other moves you're going to play that, that Oh, time? that was just one card, right? Yeah. Um, so two would be Rook, and then three would be a Rook Lift, which adds plus Ooh. four to my Rook. Nice, you've activated your Rook. Um, okay. Replenish. I'm going to... I'm going to play a Knight Outpost. So my Knight is now on a very good square, so it's worth more. And I am going to play my King. And uh, I'll also put down a Rook. So the cards that you have in your hand don't do anything until they're played, and then these are the ones that are, are sort of active. Um, so, take two of these and one more of these. Okay, your turn. Um, I will play Fork, which means you have to... It says to pick two pieces of yours, yep. and you have to remove one of them. Yeah, so you choose what two pieces... And then I have to choose one of them to remove. So, um, can it be any of that, them that have these cards on it? Yeah, so for example, you can pick my Rook and my sort of supercharged Knight, and I have to pick one of them to get rid of. Um, I'm going to pick the Knight and the King. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to have to get rid of my Knight. I want to save my King. is more valuable. And I also lose the fact that it's on the outpost. So, nice okay. move. And then, so I think that was my second card? I think so, yeah. And then my third card is going to be Pawn Promotion, which means Ooh. discard a pawn and then search through the piece deck for another card. So this yeah. is this, this is the piece deck. deck. So you get to look through that and pick whichever other card out of that you'd like. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can find a queen. You can find another queen. That's the way to go. <laughs> mm. All right, nice move. Um, I'm gonna, let's see. Uh, I'm going to castle. And this helps uh, make my rook more active. Um, I'm going to play down a pawn. And for my third move here, I'm gonna use a, a discovered attack. And so this means I get to draw two action cards. I get to play one of them and just uh, discard the other. Okay. I'm going to uh, discard this one, but I'm actually going to play here the opposition. So, opposition is when two kings face each other, and so since I have a king, I can do this. Uh, I, You have to reveal your hand, and I trade one of my cards with you. Uh, I'm going to trade... My pawn or your knight. Actually, I'm going to take a bishop instead. Okay. Okay, and it's your turn. Well, I'll play the knight, I'll play the pawn. I almost have a full set over there. <laughs> and then this is liquidation? Yeah. You and your opponent both discard a piece or a pawn. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of my pawn here. Just helps reduce the number of cards that are active. Um, so you are going to blunder a piece. <laughs> so you have to discard something. Okay, I can pick? You can pick, yeah. So you just blundered a pawn. Uh, I'm going to then play a bishop. And the last thing I'll do here is I am going to, I'm going to pin your queen. So, since your queen is pinned, it no longer counts towards your score, and you have to skip a turn to get rid of that card. Mm. Um, I'm going to play stalemate. Ooh. If you have a king, your opponent does not. Game ends. 
Otherwise, capture opponent's king. So you get my king. Nice. Um, all right. I am going to put down... Oh, actually, oh, sorry. I can play two you, more. You can play two more, yeah. And I'm going to put these down. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. I'm going to fork some of your pieces. So I'm going to fork... Oh, yeah, why not? I'm going to fork your king and your... Your king and your queen. So between your king and your queen, you got to give up one of them. And just discard it. Well, I have two kings, so I guess yeah. I'll get rid of the king. Um, which is not something you could do in chess, but that's what's fun about this game. Um... Okay, and I'm also going to play a knight and a pawn. Ooh. Yeah, just keep picking up pawns. I'm going to do castling, which adds plus two to a rook. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to throw down two more pawns. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to put down a pawn. Thing more in the piece deck. I'm going to put down another pawn and I'm going to play checkmate, which in this case just means that you have to give me your king. Okay, and now there's no more piece cards left, so I'm just going to have to take a hand of four action cards. Okay, your turn. I'm going to spend this turn getting rid of this pen. Oh, okay, nice. It's like, a good idea. Yeah, just, just either discard pile is fine. They're all mixed together. Um, okay. I am going to um, play Bishop Pair. I'm going to play a Gambit. So what this card does is I'm going to Gambit away a pawn, and then I get to select three action cards and play one of them. And actually, there's only three action cards <laughs> left. So this is basically going to end the game. Uh, I get to play one of these. Um, I'm going to discard these two. And I'm going to say that your queen is overworked. We all feel overworked sometimes. <laughs> um, and I have one more move left. Um, and I actually can't really do anything. I have a check, but there's no... It can get, make you skip your turn, but it's not going to make any difference, because... Can't do much else after that. So you can go. Make okay. your final turn. I will do the two pawns mm -hmm. down and liquidation, which is we each have to get rid of a piece. Okay. So get rid of a pawn. Yes. Probably do the same thing. So trading some pawns. And now there's no more cards to take. We each so, have but one. I have one card in my hand. Yeah, I have some action cards as well, but they're not really going to do anything. You can play that if it does something. You would actually attach that to one of my knights. So a knight on the rim, you would lower the score for my oh, knight. Oh, because it says minus two. Yeah. Okay. And now what we have to do is f count up the points we have. So, for example, I have this bishop pair. So uh, six for the bishop, plus four for the pair. This is ten. Um, only one for this knight because it's on the, the end. Uh, I have here a pawn chain, so... Plus one, plus one. Every additional pawn above this one, I add two. So this would be uh, basically four. So 11, four is 15, 18, uh, 22, plus seven, I have 29. Do I, do I have more pieces than you? I think you have more pieces than me. The question is... I have 46. You have 46, so you have... <laughs> uh, one I hands so. down. So nine minus three is yeah. six. Yep. Plus three if I have um, more. Oh pieces. right. So, so that kind of cancels out the X-ray. That's interesting. And then twelve, uh -huh. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh well, I have a book here, right? And that was twenty-four. Yeah. Twenty-four, right? With the book. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30. And that pawn pushes you over the edge, but you still got five, more to go. Plus 2, 35, 36, 37. Nice, and plus a queen to nine, finish it off. Um, is 40. 46. Yeah. Well done. And that's how you play deck checkmate. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video.